Hello people, it's Wednesday and welcome back to my week as a UK eBay reseller. Um, like I said um, in the previous video, I was going to do a massive like haul of trainers um, that I'm going to be selling half price. That video is now tomorrow. I've been busy. I had to get out, um, been to an auction and that is the main thing of today. I have picked up some absolute gems at the auction um, and yeah, I've just got to show them. They're, they're too good not to be put on camera. But I also, before the auction, I went around picking. Yes, it's a Wednesday. Like I said, main days are Monday and Tuesday, but I do pick bits and bobs throughout the week. I thought I, I'd go out while I was there and just go around the charity shops and I'm so glad I did because I have picked up some absolute bargains. I actually think one of the charity shops made a mistake on one of these pieces of items as well. And an item that I got yesterday has just sold. So I am absolutely buzzing about that. And if you see any of these DVDs, get them because the moment it's quite popular because of an ITV series. So if you're excited for this video, hit that thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you are new to the channel. My room is an absolute mess. It's got to the stage where I haven't packed anything away. It's been left around. And yeah, it's getting to the stage where the floor is absolutely just jam-packed. Can't show you over there because that is the actual auction part over that side there. First thing I'm going to show you is what I sold. It is a Cary Grant 18 disc DVD collection. It's a big one. I mean, it's a big one. It's going to cost like five quid to actually ship. But I sold that. I sold it today. Um, yeah, there you go. $29.99. Paid at $9.99, I think, for it. Reason being, they actually um, did a documentary, like a film on ITV not so long ago uh, about his life and how he actually really was. And I saw this and I thought, this has to be worth some money because people who watch that and um, probably want to watch all his films. And guess what? Literally under 24 hours, it went. So really, really happy about that. Probably going to make about 15 plus on that. So absolute go and, if you see any of these go and get it i don't know if i do any other different ones but carry grant at the moment is on fire let's go through the shoes first um i picked up some asics um gel i think they're kn yeah kn 26s yeah absolutely mint condition they just need a bit of a clean up the only problem is there is no insoles which is not a problem but I think I only paid three ninety nine for these. They go for around thirty five quid. Um, so I'm probably going to sell them for about thirty quid. Insoles, you know, a lot of people do actually put insoles in their trainers anyway. You know, so there's nothing wrong with them. I actually probably would have kept them for myself if they were the next size up. I think they were size um, eight, so they're a bit too small. Um, also, I picked up these. Always pick up sandals. What I call the Gandhi sandals. Never heard of this make Brasher. There was in like a a sort of like we don't care about this box. It was like a load of sandals because obviously it's not a season for sandals, but it's a season for sandals somewhere in the world. It's only our country really and the North Pole, which is cold, you know. So if you're going on winter holidays, these are really, really nice ones. I think I don't know what size they are, I think they're size eight. Um but did the comps and they go for around 30 quid. So absolute bargain. They didn't have no price and she wanted five. I said, I'll give you three. And she goes, all right then. And so three pound for them. Next is this. And people seem to not really go for these. I have picked up three of these now from the same charity shop and I've sold them all very quickly. And it's old vintage photo albums obviously this one is sealed so it's absolutely gonna fly out it's not only vintage because it's from Woolworths and it's also 
a hundred adhesive sides so it's a big one and it's sealed so it's brand new um and it was made in 1991 that was when Woolworths was kings who liked the pick a mix or who went into Woolworths just to pick a mix hit that thumbs up if you did so yeah you're probably looking around the 15 to 20 mark other ones I've had, um, they sell for around the same price, but they're always cheap. One pound, two pounds, so easy bargain. At the moment, because it's near Christmas, but I always seem to pick up um, board games and, and stuff like this. This is a Scotland Yard. Um, nothing special, but the reason I bought it, it was two ninety nine. dollars yeah, from Oxfam, and it's sealed, and obviously it's a good um, brand, so yeah. Probably looking around the 15 quid mark for that. I'll put it up for 14.99 because it's sealed. Next is this, and I picked this up because one of obviously tops. I'm not a card person, don't collect them, don't know much about them. But I opened this up, it's all complete, it doesn't have like special cards, but it did come with some cards which are not meant to be in there. And it did have a few nice shiny ones that are absolutely in mint condition. But it had a Vardy one. Yeah. Um, whoever that is. If that was a good if that was a if that was Bellingham, then I'll be way into the money. But that one's probably the best card I've got. It's a De Bruyne shiny one. I think it's about worth about a five. It's not they're not nothing special, but they are you know, they're really mint condition. I have got a Ronaldo one in here as well, but it's not an expensive one. It's when he paid for Juventus. So yeah, oh, silver, there we are. I can see, oh look, that piece of rubbish, the biggest waste of money ever. <laughs> and yeah, there's Ronaldo, mint condition. You're looking around about three, four quid for that card, I think, but I'm just gonna sell them all as a big bundle for about 15 quid i'm not really bothered because cards are hard to sell you know unless you've got them um, in mint condition which they are in mint condition and you know you've got the special ones yeah so yeah this was i think it was two quid yeah two quid this sells for about between 20 and 25 pound it's a really good thing to buy and it's it, everything's there i've checked it all out already mink box everything so there's no reason that won't sell for 25. and the next one is an old school like game of knowledge i haven't checked it out yet but it was free no two quid and it says complete so i'm going to trust them but you're looking around 15 quid for that so quite good on the board games like I say, the match attack one's the best one, but also added bonus of, I basically, if I can sell them cards, all them, is pure profit. So now on to the, the bargain of the week, probably of the month. This is a Pierre Garden um, cashmere long trench coat. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not tall enough to pull these off, but if I was, I would be keeping this if it was my size as well. But I got this for, well, it said I got it for, no, that's not it. There you go. Um, it did have a price tag in it. I'm not gonna say how much it was because I went out with my mom and she actually um paid for it well she didn't pay but i gave her my card because it was the the place where i had that coat where it was basically um dirty and they're trying to get it for new and the woman who was being rude to me she was on the till i didn't want to speak to her so i said mom here you go just go and get it. they had a price tag of 25 pound oh what a shame i just said it. and my mom goes here you go look and I went, what? It says, it was seven pound. So unless there was another tag somewhere or something like that, I got this for seven quid. I'm gonna put the comps on it now, just right there and show you how much it's worth. Yeah, 100 pound. <laughs> Boom, absolute bargain. But even if it was 25 pound, I still was gonna buy it for 25 pound. 
but obviously they must have reduced it but not um put the right ticket on or something or that was the wrong ticket but anyway and the final thing i picked up was this i've only ever picked up one acg nike um item and that was like a long sleeve like um training top and it sold for like 25 quid um but this is absolutely mint i would have kept this if it was mine it's, i think it's a woman's it's a small i paid a 10 pound for it but it is absolutely amazing it's in really good condition there's no rips a shame it wasn't a Gore-Tex one because I, I was looking at one. There was one actually being sold at the moment and it's a Gore-Tex one. But I cannot find the Gore-Tex anywhere. So it's not a Gore-Tex. I think the Gore-Tex sign is there or there. But it's a Nike fit one. So yeah, comps for this. You're probably looking around the 60. Maybe squeezed for 70. I don't know because it is really nice. If it was a Gore-Tex one, you're looking around the 85. So yeah, 10 quid minimum. 60 quid so absolute bargain this week i've been picking really good but the best things i've picked up was from the auction and i spent 73 pound in total that is actually with the um fees that a day charge i think it's like 19 percent or something like that i would have only paid 60 pound for these and i've got four items one item if I sell it, we'll pay for all this. So I'm going to show you them all now. Comment down if you know what these are. And if you do, you know how rare these are. These are classic Walt Disney collection figures. I picked up four of them. There was literally about 20 30 maybe i think it might be in 40 different sorts all from a collector from america who's moved over to england and she had them in the auction and i was man i managed to get four of them i should have bought more but you know i didn't want to spend a fortune it's around christmas you know i have things to pay for like a son <laughs> so yeah i picked up 401 dalmatians there was another one, a Donald Duck one, I really want, but they did say it was broke. Um, so, yeah, it was worth about 350 quid um, on eBay. But the thing about these is they are rare. These items on eBay now, I think there's only about one or two in the UK of certain ones. Some haven't even, are not even in the UK. Um, they're that rare because these are actually from America. So obviously if you buy stuff from America um, and you bring it over to the UK, you and a small handful of people are only gonna have them. The auctioneer said the person who owned these and is selling them are in the Walt Disney Society Club. So basically some of the figures that were selling, they were limited edition. Some of these are limited edition. So I'm gonna show you what they are. So. 101 Dalmatians, classic film. Reason I bought these and I wanted these is because one, it's 100 years of Disney, so these should fly out. Also, it's Christmas, lovely little figures to give for Christmas presents and dogs. Dogs, are, you know, if you watch antique um, programs, animals sell and who is bigger than the Dalmatians from Disney? So I'm gonna show you one if i can get in there they all come like they are basically brand new they all come with a certificate and look it is sealed as well so absolutely buzzing i got these um i'm going to show you this one because this is one of the small ones these two are the small ones um i'm not going to take out the wrapper but as you can see authentic this one yeah, i think they're all on my actual they're all on my um listings now as soon as i got them I, I took pictures and i put them on um the other one is a small one that one's the one who 
eight a lot. He's a little bit of a um, porker, so he's got he's got little rolls on him. He's a cute one. He's the one that's always hungry. That one's called Game Thunder. Um, I think he's the one who is very mischievous. He, he liked to get in trouble um, and wasn't scared of anything. These are the mom and dad. So it's got Pongo, which is the original Dalmatian they bought, the family bought when there was a puppy. And obviously he was the main dog. And then you've got Perdita, per, Perdita, well, however you say it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you Pongo because he is by far my favorite one. Every single one has got sealed. This is him. I mean, he's absolutely beautiful. This is the sort of things that I would collect if I had a huge house with loads of space. I would get it. And obviously he's got um, one of the dogs on the top. But yeah, absolutely mint. But I'm gonna show you how much these are actually worth. And you'll be surprised how much these are actually worth because like I said, they are limited edition and they're from America and they're Disney. And if you love Dalmatian films, you just, you just, it's just going to cost you a fortune to buy these. Um, I'm going to show you some of the comps. Um, I've got these on my actual eBay now, so I'm just going to get my eBay up and show you what I'm selling them for. The little dog, which is the, the cheapest one, sells for around 60 quid. And you see I've got four views. They've only been on today, so um, yeah. The other one with the two dogs, the one where he's getting um, dog, whatever his name is. Um, yeah, that one sells for 95, that's a really rare one. Then you've got, um, the mom, I could still sell it for around £110. People in America are selling it for that price. But if you wanted that in America, you would have to pay the shipping, which is around 50 quid. And then the most expensive one is obviously Pongo, £120. So yeah, if I do sell them, it's around about the 300 plus mark in sales. So from 73 quid, I'm gonna make around probably a couple of hundred quid after fees and obviously taking out all the uh the fees what it costs for the uh figures themselves but yeah that is what i've been doing today i i'm picking really well i'm really really happy with what i picked today obviously i'm picking stuff the best feeling in the world is when you pick something in the same week and it goes it literally within 24 hours like the carry grand thing it was absolutely amazing and yeah i've only if you're watching this now it is literally like just past half five on wednesday evening and obviously as you can see i've got the best football top in the world with the best player in the world mo salah and uh, because obviously they're playing today so i wanted to get this done and dusted so when you're watching this you'll probably know what I'll be doing I'll be watching them thrash Sheffield United because we was almost there last night you know unlucky Luton for not getting the uh, the draw they should they deserved it they deserve it a jammy Arsenal so now Liverpool can't go top um, even if they do win but you know what if we win we'll still be second so yeah but Hope you enjoy this. I obviously, um, I will be doing the the sale of my trainers tomorrow. So, if you're interested in any trainers, make sure you join me. I'm gonna be. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a very very long one. So, if there's some trainers you maybe want for Christmas, I've got some very nice ones. I'm gonna be doing great deals on them, telling you how much they're worth and how much I'm selling them for. So make sure you watch that video. An extra day picking. Um, I was actually gonna go to a midweek car boot, but guess what? Like I said at the start of the week, it just seems to be canceling all the time. And guess what? It was canceled again. So 
I do want to get one, maybe two more in before the end. Um, yeah, but if I can't, then it's going to be it for the rest of the year on car boots. Um, so, yeah, join me tomorrow on Thursday with all that massive trailer haul. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So, goodbye and I'll see you again.